So before starting to make your poster, you need to make sure that you know the dimensions uh, of the printed poster. So in order to do that, what I did is I just uh, googled it and looked for the most commonly used um, poster uh, sizes. If you're making this for a client, they will probably give you the, the dimensions, but um, if not, you can just uh, use the internet. And on standardpostersizes.com, I found that the most commonly used one is 27 by 40 inches. And on Amazon, I found that uh, the, the Incredibles poster is actually the same size, 27 by 39. So I used a similar um, size, but that was even for the stock images that I have, that size uh, was huge. So I ha I have to reduce this. I reduced it to half that size. So um, what you do? Um, let me show you first what I got here on the layers palette. You can have like the background and a few elements grouped. So I have a bit of a cleaner um, layers palette, and this is the finished poster. Now, in order to start making this, as I said you press Control Command N, and you can give your poster name day three poster psd box okay and here you can set the dimensions in pixels inches centimeters millimeters whatever um, let's set it on in inches um, 27 by 40 and then the color should be set to um, cmyk because well this is the printing um, profile color mode uh, that it's usually used for printing but uh, we will use the RGB mode um, for this tutorial so set your um, width and height in inches and click OK and this is the size that we get but if you press control command and alt I you will see that the height is 12,000 pixels and that's that's quite big and you can see the printing um, size would be for the resolution of 300 pixels per inch will be like one meter by 68 centimeters wide so that's that's really big so what I did is I just reduced this to half that size and then I had this 6000 by 4000 um, pixels and I'll click OK now if you download the PSD file of this um, tutorial uh, this one you will see that it's even smaller because uh, at the actual size this is 700 megabytes so that's huge and well uh, I just give you the PSD file so you can see what I did here on the layers palette but uh, well so we have our document here the next thing we want to do is make some guides just to make things everything is lined up and also uh, we need some guides to create our safe zone um, we need to let, to leave a few um, a little a few millimeters here uh, of edge around the whole poster here just to make sure that everything is um, inside the safe area because sometimes when you print it uh, the edges well don't look nice so they cut it so I will go to view choose new guide and well let's see the dimensions in millimeters we have like 508 we will leave five millimeters um, of uh, edge there so if the height is 508 we'll type well, we'll go to view new guide and five for the horizontal for the top one we'll use 5 mm for millimeters click OK now let's go to the top one uh, to the bottom one so, sorry new guide and this time we'll type 503 because remember the total size the height was 508 and um, we want 5 millimeters of gap so we put 503 and click OK that way we have 5 millimeters of uh, edge of margin here on the bottom and we will do the same for the vertical 5 millimeters on the left and now for the right side uh, you can see it's uh, in millimeters is 342 so um, we have to add five millimeters on the right as well. So, so to view new guide, 
338 millimeters and we have our edges here and now let's make a new guide 50% vertical so that we know where the center of this uh, poster is okay now we have the basic guides here and we are ready to create the background. Uh, one other thing you can do, uh, it's really easy to, you can create a custom brush. Um, let me open, for example, this one. Open with Photoshop CS6. And I'll just go to Edit, Define Brush Preset. And you can see just as it is, just like that. Or one other thing you can do if you want to make sure everything looks better. Oops. Uh, just desaturate this and then use Levels. Yeah, that looks better. And then go to Edit, Define Brush Preset, and click OK, and click this. Uh, close this, and now go back to this document, and I have my brush here. Uh, it's quite big, so what I will do is reduce the size of it. And just mask with this. See how easy it was to create your own brush. Uh, what I will do, though, is use the brush tip shape. Shape dynamic, set this to off, and just one angle, the angle jitter, so that I have different angles. That looks a bit better. Now I destroyed too much of it, so what I'll do is now switch back to the white and paint back. We're still not done yet. Um, this is just for, for blending purposes. Uh, and the reason why I told you to keep this part of the D covered is because now this image is blend a lot better see that I just wanted to create like the effect that the this part of the D letter is exploding or something like that so we will leave that there so you can see how nice it looks everything in on its own group now add the final adjustment so I'll add a color lookup and the first color lookup that I Ad that I use is a, a 3D um, LUT um, adjustment and I use the uh, desaturate net uh, neutrals uh, this is a file that I actually downloaded from the internet you'll find it on the on the folder where you have the um, where you find the stock images and actually what you need to do um, with this file this is a 3DL file uh, what you have to do is copy that and go inside your Adobe folder inside the presets and put it inside this folder that says 3D LUTs. So you have to paste that file in here. And once you're in Photoshop, you will find it, it will appear here on this on this list or simply go to load 3D LUT and wait for it to open. And you have like a an open window you can see here so you can locate the file on that folder but uh, if you want to if you want it to appear here on this list you have to paste it on that folder that I just showed you the last adjustment is a vibrance adjustment layer and here I made a sort of a cross setting uh, so I set the vibrance to minus 60 or so minus 59 minus 60 and then the saturation up to 46 46 okay that's gives us sort of an unsaturated but not quite unsaturated adjustment if it's too unsaturated just reduce a bit the opacity and you will bring up some of that yellow that we had there on the background so uh, well this is the poster this is how I made this poster uh, I hope you like it and well uh, it's just a matter of being a bit creative and you can see it's not really a complex one but it's I think it's quite effective for a horror movie so <laughs> I don't know that's that was my idea at, la at least so uh, what I will do is now group this and say make name this group adjustments and now we have a clean uh, layers palette and this is how the final product looks like so well uh, that's all for now I hope you enjoyed it I'm Andre from PSD box and see you on the next tutorial